in the name of the one who is the peace and gives peace dear viewers welcome to our program 50 ways to happiness this is ways 21st we are created in hardship by our Creator life is difficult some people face difficulty at the early stage of their life some people face difficulty in the middle of uh, their life some people face difficulty at the end of their life but we all would find life hard difficult and tough this is the nature of our existence even when baby come out of the womb of his mom or her mom the baby struggle to come out from the time we came out to this world we struggle all the way when we go to our grave so we continuously fight to survive we need to clean ourselves constantly we have to protect ourselves from disease bacteria so many other things that that uh, that exist in nature so that gave us understanding that life is difficult and you are not alone if you're facing problem so the message that i'm sending to you is that if you're facing problem please understand this that every individual is facing problem one way or another because our creator says that in the in the quran there's a chapter in the quran uh, it's called the city in that chapter it's balat uh, chapter 9990 verse 4 laqad insana fi which says that we have created man in into hardship certainly we created man in hardship so we are created in hardship so the reason i bring this verse for you to understand that we all face problem one way or another and also our existence in this world is temporary we are here for a short period of time not only our creator created us in hardship he created death and life and these are two creation of God this is a verse in the Quran which uh, which is found in the chapter 67 of the Quran mulk dominion so in that verse it the, the translation of that verse is that he created death and life to test you as to which one of you is best in deed and he is exalted in might and forgiving so our creator created you our creator created death and life in order for you to be tested and he is the most forgiving so now what this these two verse lead us to we should understand that uh, our creator is knowledgeable and this life is for test there's another life after this life 
the moment you understand this, it would give you ability to deal with problems. Because you, you know that this is, this is not me that suffering. There are so many other people suffering. And we have to believe our Creator. If we believe our Creator, it, it solves for a lot of problems. There are some people who believe, who believe in philosophers, who believe in thinkers, who believe in scientists, and they do not believe in Creator. So this is another problem that people are facing. Your Creator is telling you that the, He created you in hardship. And you created life and death, and He created you to be tested. If you don't believe this, and then you go to philosophers, thinkers, about your, the meaning of your existence, about the hardship, since they have beginning, they don't understand these, these concepts. So the moment you believe in the words of your Creator, it gives you a lot of strength. It gives you ability to go through problems and solve it, or at least have capacity to now break down. And also understanding this concept of being created in hardship and life and death is creation of God. And He tests us to see which one of us do the best. So it gave us, gave us a lot of hope. And He gave us a lot of uh, strength. Because once you know that this this is coming on your way you're gonna be prepared for that and you, since you know that your your creator is compassion it gives you a lot of hope and also we have to learn how to have patience if we do not have patience these problems that come in our life would uh, lead us to despair hopelessness anxiety depression so I hope you understand this point that if you're facing problem any problem you're facing if it's marriage problem financial problem political problem a health problem any problem you have I don't know what kind of problem you have any problem you have remember this point please that everyone would face problem in this world in this life no one is, is, is going to be excluded. We all face problems. So what to do? To believe in the word of your Creator, number one. Number two, He's testing you. So make sure you're going to get good mark. If you lose your coolness and if you keep yelling, not only you're going to lose mark, it's going to harm you. And once we face problem and difficulty, we have to maintain our calmness in order to come up with a proper solution to tackle the problem instead of going crazy, yelling, cursing. So that's going to harm us and it's going to make the situation worse. So I hope you will find this reminder beneficial. If you do, make sure you share this with your friends and followers. Thank you so much.